season three finale. Fucking nervous. Fucking excited. Let's go. Oh, I always love the shots when I can zoom out from someone's eye. They started off the season the same way, didn't they? They did it with the walker. Oh! Oh, I knew it was Milton. Oh dear. Well, what's your daughter think? Ooh! How about what you are? Oh. She'd be afraid of me. If I'd been like this from the start, she'd be alive today. Mm. I mean, the guy has got a point. But you're still a dick. You're gonna kill her now. Mm -hmm. Everybody show me that you learned something. Spend the whole fucking budget on this one or what? Mm. They set a trap or something. I think you're walking into a trap, bud. Why did you stay? Oh. After you found out your friends were out there. I wanted to save everyone. Talk and try and get the thing. Don't. Even the governor for once. I had a chance to kill him. I stopped you. No, this was before. He was asleep. I had a knife. But I tried to stop it all another way because I didn't want anyone to die. Aww. That's really sad. Okay, now is he dead? I'm still here. I know, you're still there. I'm still alive. Keep buggering on me. Yeah. What a brave guy. Come on, Andrew, hurry the fuck up. Oh! It's a trap! Too easy. Drop the weapon, sir. Sure. Here, take it. You just drop it. <gasps> Fuck. Fucking hell, Carl. I was there. You didn't have to shoot. He had every reason not to. They didn't look like that to you. Richard. I'm 
didn't tell me yet. He gunned that kid down. I love it when Herschel slaps some sense on his people. Look who's gonna handle this shit I've done. We're done fighting for a hole with a half dozen psychopaths living in it. They can keep it. You've seen what they've done. Attacked us. They killed my boy. We're going back. We are not soldiers. Want to see the lighters? Of course. This is crazy. We go home. Holy shit. <sighs> Fucking speechless ass like that. Fucking hell. See how much he's changed in just one season, it's crazy. Oh Andrea. I won't be able to do any of this shit. Kill the walker, they killed Dale. Look what happened. Look, that is not the same you thing. You didn't oh, kill Andrew. Dale. And he came back and killed Mom. Here we go. Yes, Carol. Yes, Beth. Cheat. Now you two can leave Woodbury and join Rick's group, can't you? you now the other two bastards you're really dead. We were coming to finish this. Until we saw what the governor did. I tried to stop him. To burn it up. Oh, 
Ich hab eh. Oh, it's really fucking sad. I can do it myself. No. Oh, I have to. Well, I still can. Please. Do. Fuck, I didn't think we'd lose Andrea. I mean, she was like my favourite, but she only wanted to help. And I'm not going anywhere. She was like in it from the second ever episode as well. Oh, Michonne's staying with her. I didn't think I'd get that sad at Andrea dying. Wow. I really wanted her to join the group again. Ah, lots of new people to move in. That's Who's this? Ah, it's quite hopeful now. I feel like Andrea did do something in the end. I feel like this is kind of her legacy now. Oh, it doesn't seem worry anymore. God, we lost so many characters this season, haven't we? Fucking ride. Oh my god, what a beautiful ending. I really love that. That was a really nice finale. Quite emotional and poignant. Quite action packed. Some really, really standout moments. And I'm still kind of gobsmacked by that scene where the governor just gunned down all those people. Um. Yeah, the governor. I thought he was going to die in this one. I thought it was going to be tied up in a neat bow. Evidently not. 
so I imagine he's going to be sticking around with the villain next season. I think he'll probably die next season though. I don't think human villains can really last all that long on this show. You know, Shane lasted just under two seasons. I mean, I'll be interested in seeing where they take the governor going forward. I doubt he's just going to drive off and then we never see him again. I imagine there's going to be some kind of comeuppance to what he's done. But I fucking love the governor this season. I think he's a fantastic character. So complex and layered. And I've just loved watching him become this fully fledged villain. And you know, that final act of just shooting his own people is so despicable. And I love that journey he's gone on in this season. Which is why I feel like he can't have that long left, surely. I'd be very surprised if he survived season four. Because now he's kind of come, you know, full circle to being a villain. I think there's only so far they can take him now. But I've loved watching him this season. David Morrissey has been fucking amazing in the role. And I can't wait to see what they do with him next. I will admit, you know, they build up this whole season with this showdown at the prison with the governor and his team and Rick and his team. I was kind of underwhelmed by that whole prison sequence. I mean, apart from when they blew up like the towers, that was really cool. I just felt like it was too easy. I don't know. The governor and his team got schooled, really. They became their bitches. Like, uh, okay. I just felt there'd be more of a struggle between both sides. But I suppose they just thought too highly of themselves and underestimated Rick and his team being clever about it. I don't know. Just something about it kind of underwhelmed me. But I think the governor kind of then getting down his people kind of made up for that. And I'm sure there'll be a bigger fight with the governor to come. So I loved all the group being badass together. Um, I kind of like where they're going with Carl. You know, he's becoming quite cold like Rick was. And I'm interested in seeing if they're going to continue with that or they're going to have the story be everyone trying to bring him back to the boy he used to be. I'm not sure, but I'm interested in seeing where Carl's going to go. He's grown on me a lot this season. Um, he was kind of a little shit in that last episode, I'll admit. But not quite as bad as the episode where Dale died. But yeah, I'm interested in Carl, and I like him a lot more than I did in season 1 and 2. Things are positive with him. I'm really glad we have Michonne officially part of the team, and Tyrese and Sasha, and then bringing all the people over at the end of the episode. I loved how they ended the episode, by the way. It was really beautiful and poignant. And that music really sold that to me. I love that it was kind of a hopeful ending and not all bleak and miserable. And when Rick looks up and Laurie's not there, obviously he's kind of gotten over that hallucination phase. I liked that. Some shows would be like, dedicating a whole scene to that where he explains he doesn't see her anymore and this is why, blah blah blah. But The Walking Dead can just show it and I really liked that. I just really love this group of people and I'm glad we didn't lose a major character from that main prison group this time. Andrea I had I did not expect her to die. I thought she'd be around for a while, yeah. Because you know this whole Woodbury storyline was really Andrea's. She was kind of the focus of this storyline. In the a similar way of Rick is having that storyline in the whole prison, it all revolves around Rick, really. And it was the same with Andrea, so I really didn't think she was going to die. And, you know, she's been in it since the second episode of the show. So this is three seasons. This is kind of the first time a character's been killed off. Who's been really, really present in action since they were introduced for me. Obviously we had Dale, who I really liked, but he spent a lot of the episodes just being in the background. Whereas Andrew's always been given quite a bit to do most of the time, especially this season. I'm, I'm just really surprised that they killed her, but it was tragic and really sad. I loved her scenes with Milton. That was sad, poor Milton. 
I really liked her stepping up this season. And I'm sad she's not going to be part of the group again. I really, really wanted her to, like, get part of the group again. Because I was really interested in seeing how she'd interact with everyone back in the group. That's still going to happen. So I feel like they killed her a bit too early. Same with Mel, in a similar kind of way. I think they could have done more with Mel and explored him a bit more before killing him. I'd say it's more of a waste of Merle than a waste of Andrea, because Merle was only in a cameo in season 2, and he wasn't actually like physically in the episode, it was like a hallucination. But yeah, I am sad to be losing Andrea. She's kind of like the original, well, one of the original characters, and she just wanted to help, and she became the victim of that. So it's tragic, but so beautiful and sad as well. And I had left a little farewell scene and how Michonne stayed with her in the last moments, that was so, so sweet. I love that. And yeah, I'll have to see if there's going to be an Andrea-shaped hole in the show. I'm sure they'll find a way to get over that. From what I've read, I don't think Andrea was like the most popular character. I think a lot of people were actually annoyed by her quite a lot. I mean, she had her moments where she really pissed me off. But she grew on me a bit. I mean, she was not my favourite by any means, but part of me will miss her, just not as much as some other characters. Speaking of other characters, I would like to see a bit more of, obviously, Glenn and Carol, they're my faves, but also Maggie and Beth. Herschel had quite a few nice little bits. I think they did kind of lose track of all the characters near the second half of this season. And obviously now their group's like even bigger with all these new people. I imagine a lot of them are going to die quite quickly in season 4 though, so we'll see. Um, I'm scared that they're going to kind of lose some characters again. Hopefully not. We'll have to see. But I am excited about this prospect of this prison full of people and where that's going to go. But overall it was a really, really great finale. I loved it. And season 3, I've really, really enjoyed I think it started off really fucking strong and I don't think it ever quite reached that level again although these last two episodes of the season were really fucking good but those first four episodes of season three it was top notch I love that especially episode four because that's the one that fucking destroyed me yeah we lost some really good characters this season Poor T-Dog. I always kind of forget T-Dog was even in the show. And we lost him like 12 episodes ago. And Laurie in the same episode. And then we lost Merle. We lost Andrea. I'm trying to think. I feel like there's more that we lost. I really can't remember. Oh, Oscar and Axel. But did they really do anything? No. So yeah, there's some big losses this season some really really great new characters and some fucking fantastic television really Walking Dead season 3 has been fucking amazing I loved it and I cannot wait to start season 4 which I will be doing in the coming days so thank you all for watching this finale and all of my season 3 reactions and the whole show so far really and I hope you've enjoyed my tears and my laughter, mainly my tears. It's been a roller coaster, and maybe season four won't be as bad, guys. Maybe. Am I in for hell again? We'll see. Thanks for watching.